who I am and who I say I am, I am. No more lies. No more skirting the truth. No more bullshit. I didn't teach myself victory first. I taught myself failure. I taught myself how to fail. And people are like, that's so depressing, is it? When you're 300 pounds and you can't read and write and you're fucked up, you know how many times you're gonna fucking fail on that process? So if you don't know how to fail, there is no victory. I never talked about winning. Because I knew the path to winning was gonna be years of failing first. So I taught myself how to fail properly. A lot of people put a title on me. They see me now. They see me now as the guy that with his shirt off who can do 4,000, 30 pull-ups in 17 hours, who can run 205 miles in 39 hours, who can do all this crazy shit. But what they don't understand is they don't understand the journey that it took me to get to this point. And what got me to this point was I was just the opposite of what I am today. I was that guy who ran away from absolutely everything that I got in front of me. Everything I do in life, it sucks. That's why when I was 300 pounds and 24 years old, it wasn't like I had some big epiphany of let's just go be a Navy SEAL and let's lose some weight. No, I knew my entire life was going to be a struggle, which is why I just ignored it. And I said, I'm not even trying to jump off into this shit and learn how to read, how to write, how to memorize, how to become something I am not. But through that process, something happened to me. I am literally, I was the lowest form on earth, no talent, no ability to learn. And I literally know what it is to be rock bottom and to build that up. No one's gonna fucking come to help me. No one's gonna fucking come to help me. It's, it's fucking me against me, period. And um, so I had to man up. And I said, the first thing I start doing is facing every fucking fear I have. I had two options to either be that 300 pound guy who sprayed for cockroaches and made $1,000 a month. And at 24 years old, knowing when I'm 50 fucking years old, I can reflect on this and think about what guy I never became, or I can totally just sack it up and fail and fail and fail until I succeed. They think it's a permanent fix. They think it's something that, that is a constant. They think that maybe once I get it, I'm gonna hold on to it. Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation. You have to learn to train your mind well beyond motivation. If you have motivation, that's great. That's some kindling to the fire. All it takes is a little bit of fucking spark and you can burn the whole forest up. But motivation, you have to learn to exist without it. You have to learn to be, you have to be your best self when you're least motivated. And sometimes all the voices are telling you the wrong shit, man. But through years, years, not a podcast or listening to a book or reading a book, years of sacrifice, of suffering, of diligent, pinpoint fucking work on what you want to do for yourself. Pinpoint what I want to do with my life. What happens is you have all these voices that are telling you you're fucked up and this is going to be hard, but for some reason you put so much practice into you that you can ignore every one of them that are telling you you're not going to fucking make it and still be able to fucking make it because you have put the practice in that you know this is the process. It's such a daunting task that all the voices are saying no, but you still had the conviction that I know I can do this. And that's what it took for me to get here. But when you put that practice in, every day you lace them up, and I don't mean run, it's just a metaphor for life. You lace them motherfuckers up every day. Pretty soon you win. Pretty soon you'll fucking win. If you have the courage and the heart and the dedication and the mindset of everybody and go fuck themselves. I know what I know. I've listened to myself enough to know. I know what I know. None of you can hear what I'm hearing. 
And that's what people don't do enough of. They don't listen to their journey. They listen to everybody else's shit. Obviously, you're not looking at the truth in front of you. The truth in front of you is it sucks. It's painful. It's fucking mind-numbing. And that is the truth. And that's why a lot of people don't like listening to me.